Morning. And we are live. That's right. Here we are, week number four in the wonderful year of 2018. Yes. We have. We have Lil Mattress in the and building. And I am. Who are you this time? Bluffy McLiar Pants. Bluffy. Whoa. How's everyone doing this week? Sure. <laughs> it's good. about branding. I'm doing Mr. really good, <laughs> Mr. Bluff. I don't know if I could believe anything you say today, but how are That's you? That's right. It's um, a must that I bluff anybody <laughs> can handle me. Hey. <laughs> No, um, it's been a good week, right? I mean, here we are. Um, 2018 January is 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 up. It's been an interesting week. We got the Super Bowl coming up. Good Minnesota week for the Patriots. lost. So yeah, I know Patriots. All the marks and homers are up in the air. Like, don't say nothing till the game's over. <laughs> Patriot fans are the worst. <laughs> are the worst. Tom Brady though, he did have the stitches removed off his vagina. The I mean, hey. off his off his hand the other day. Hey. Um, Gronkowski's back, so the concussion. Um, did you guys see that rap battle? Gronkowski, Gronkowski versus Michelle Rodriguez? Ooh. No, I didn't. No? Um, right? When, That's, when, when you're like... Lil Matt says it all. Lil Matt says it all. There's a difference between turning off the beat because you're about to say something hot yeah. than turning off the beat because you have no idea how yeah, to Yeah, hold, hold on. This, 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 might, this, might, this might actually sum it up. Uh, Really? Yeah, yeah, that was it. <laughs> he, he was like, no, I really, uh, you know, I don't want to do it to a beat. And that was because he was off beat with no beat. With no Gronkowski. Gronk 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 yes. Gronk it, like Gronk if Frank, I mean, let's, it's done. It, it is old news, but if Frankenstein were to rap, like. What was this? Like people met it's up a show. on like it's a called, What's court? the show called? Something, Something hosted by. It's hosted by Method, Method Man. Method Man, and James someone. Corden, the guy that's hosting the Grammys. Okay. He's like behind it. So, yep. but yeah, no, like super, 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 super fail. But uh, that was a couple weeks ago. Um, What else do we have? What do we want to do? We want to do um? Well, let's if get... we're talking about sports, let's talk yeah. about um, interesting, MMA. Interesting. We can uh, dive into there. MMA yeah, was big MMA. Fan. UFC surprisingly is giving CM Punk another fight. C now, CM Punk, now CM Punk did lose, right? He, he does the belt. Yeah. Right? Now, I mean, now lose decisively. Wasn't the work. Really? He, wow. He lost in two minutes with. In the fetal position, hands on the head, getting yeah. rocked. Yeah, no, but see, here's here's in, the in all defense though. Oh yeah, he got a million for that. Yeah, which, hey, that's, I, it's I, all I, about the paydays, I guess. You yep. know, getting a little. But well, flower. that's the thing that I want to <laughs> talk about is that, in my opinion, they're giving him another fight because UFC lost its stars, man. They're they're not. They're not what they used to be right now, and, and it went quick. It did very, very fast. Realized whatever brains they have left. The, oh shit! Let me uh, let them know that they need me more than. Uh, no, but yeah. you and I think you get what I, I'm saying. I think it comes down to um, but yeah, no, but uh, like a branding part about it, where now they're saying, let me try to get as much money as I can early. Everyone's gonna want um that Connor money. I know what you're saying though. Like yep. they're they're definitely fishing for stars, and they they went on this whole tangent of like it's boxing's dying because we're the new breed, and yeah, you know, I would say um, you're absolutely right. I think there's something going on there. But in other um other sports news, I heard something interesting. Um, Colin Kaepernick, you heard the latest there. No. no, what is it? So, okay, McLeod so well, first, <laughs> right? Fake news, right? <laughs> <laughs> so, um, CNN. <laughs> Kaepernick's going to the XFL. That's what's happening. Well, actually, yeah. Um, Can he though? With the uh, well, no. Here's okay. So here's here's what's going on. So right now, Co Colin Kaepernick is suing the NFL. You know what I'm okay. saying? Oh, saying a collusion wow. case. Okay, yep. but the, the Oakland Raiders, okay, um, have just hired uh, John Gruden. You know, the guy Chucky. They call him Chucky. So they hired him to like mil, a 10, 10 yeah, years? yeah, 10 years. No, oh. 100 mil. 10, 10 a year or something. But that's what I mean. 10 something mil, crazy. 10 years. Okay, yeah, but see, the NFL year. has yep. the Rooney rule where you have to interview, like, you know, some minority. Rooney rule. Before you make, you can't just hire the first person the you Looney talk to. The Looney rule? Some might call it the Rooney, Rooney rule, but it's the actually. The Looney or the Rooney? It's called the Rooney rule. Oh. But some Back people. Back in my time, they, that, there was a rule for me, it was the Looney rule. Back, okay, <laughs> Do they still apply? It does. <laughs> okay. Well, this is this is the Rooney rule was basically set in force. So, like, you just didn't offer the same, you know, the first guy you asked, it was, you know, equal opportunity. Mm. So, um, but some good things have come from it because mike tomlin um down in pittsburgh he benefited from the rule everyone in pittsburgh is just like in love with him tony dungy he really benefited from it yeah. so raiders it was a known fact they were going to hire um uh gruden they were just kind of not really saying like f the raider rule or rooney rule but um they kind of made up the raider rule so mm. kind of on the side though they said hey look it we'll keep this rooney thing on taps if you guys give colin a job next year now if they give oh. colin a job next year the suit is gone and we kind of Forgot about everything, right? If they give it the, it, now the Raiders, it, right? Yeah, yeah. So, so what, what's thoughts? your take on that? So let me, so let me ask you. So this is what we're getting at. So in light of the Raiders, more or less, kind of tongue in cheek, wink, wink, like, yeah, we did the Rooney Rule. Everyone yep. knows that they didn't. The Raiders said, hey, we'll let this go. Just give Kaepernick a job. Yeah, but isn't the couldn't the Rooney Rule be like, yeah, we interviewed the. Um, intern and we're not going to give him the job well, that's we're what they give did that's what they did the first guy that they the two guys that they interviewed were one guy was on the staff okay um yep. and he was just kind of like a tongue-in-cheek like hey you know 
kind of were bringing them back like you know you're gonna yeah, be yeah. on the staff like you know um yeah. so but that's what i how do those two how do the first two people feel you know it, what i'm it, saying like yeah i think it's a more of a don't hate the player hate the game thing to where it's Donald Trump not paying taxes. He didn't do anything illegal. He just yeah, worked the system. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think they might work the system. But it's going to be interesting to see if Colin Kaepernick's values stand up to, oh, shit, I'm getting back in the NFL. Right, yeah. Which... That'd be interesting. And to see, all right, is he starting quarterback or is he practice squad? Is he what? You know what I mean? Yeah. I know he's been out for so long. Is he even good anymore? Is he practice? Is he still playing? Is he still, you know? Could have turned into the... Mike is he Vick. taking snaps? Does anybody know? <laughs> is he taking snaps? For real, you right. Uh, well, I think okay, that's so we're gonna have a um, though when it comes to just money wise, like these guys want to figure out how to get back to the scheme of making money, and he's a figure that brings in, he'll 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 bring the seats, he'll yeah. fill, he'll he'll fill the seats up, and they'll probably he think back. that he'll bring back all the people that I'm not watching anymore. Because, yeah, but I don't, you know, I don't I don't I don't think that he will. I think it'll I all be said all, and done. But, you know, Here, here's the thing because it was a big deal with though. Can he play XFL? Or? Well, right. That's that's the other thing we touched on. XFL is going to be back, but in the end, I don't think it's going to matter. Michael Vick came and gone. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like just another story. Um, yeah. What's that? Uh, uh, it's just you know feed them, give them the football and their television, and they'll forget about what's really going on. Um, but here's the tie into it. The NFL is putting um, a whole bunch of money into um, social causes and social justice. Like now, that's like an actual platform. Mm. Do you think, think that's a cool thing? Should teams be like responsible to kind of maybe put a good message out there, or, or do they fail, miss the mark? Is it just? I think everything's getting too convoluted. It's a game that they're playing. Like to, so, yeah. to make it more is, um, although it might be a stand-up thing to do, it's just I think we're 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 putting too much on this. They're playing a game of football. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like. That's right. what it is. And it's just a game. Goes back to the doing, kids thing. They're yeah, tradition, family. They're trying to get the. They're trying to paint the promotion picture as family. Come down. It's a family thing. Yeah. But w they kind of ruined it because family. The first thing with family is the national anthem. You would think, but yep. The NFL put themselves in a sticky situation and gave perfect room for Vince, <laughs> twenty twenty. And and I think Vince. Uh, one of the things with the XFL coming back in twenty twenty, I think he might have looked at Ice Cube, what he did with his big with three that, yeah, yeah, and been like, Here's, you know, th people need mm -hmm. an alternative. It might not be as big as, but it can still be profitable. I think so. And uh, I just Connecticut needs a just, fucking team, man. It, what, and Vince should possible. though, you know what I'm saying? Like, and Vince really should. I mean, he owes it to Connecticut. Um. For real. But here's my thing. Exactly. And for anyone that when, whenever people say WWE New York, no, they're in Stanford. Yes, it's close. Connecticut. Yeah. WWE is in Lewis. fucking Connecticut, mm -hmm. man. Let's do this. All right. So here's so so I guess let me get back to um XFL real quick. Just my little um my little side. We got the latest in fashion. Uh -huh. Get them. All right. Beautiful. Trump is behind this. There's some Trump money. Him and Vince. He wants some of that yeah. NFL money. Um. He talked to Linda already. <laughs> Linda's gonna, is gonna have her own team. Um, so what else are we having? Um, oh, here's this. Talk about just the game. This one broke my heart when I found this one out. I want your take on this one. Now, just the expression. Mm -hmm. Okay, you ready? Field the dreams. You guys remember the movie mm -hmm. in Classic. Iowa? Okay, you know it's an actual field, right? Okay, the field exists. Didn't Vandals tore up the field. They they, they oh, went up man. on trucks and just tore it all up. Is, is that... nothing sacred? No, that 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 that's a big deal. No, <laughs> that's, that's not cool, man. <laughs> no, so but what's um, the story on that. Uh, well, they, they damaged the field. Well, nobody knows. You know what I'm saying? It was oh, just mischief. Got yeah, mischief. They got away. The you know, just uh, cornfields. It's Iowa. You know. Yeah. Um, They're gonna be tormented for the rest of their lives. Hopefully yeah. the children of the corn get them. <laughs> uh, Hang them. <laughs> Hang them. Hang them. I'm sure there's some people. Man, yeah, I, that's not cool. I, I thought you were gonna mention the uh, Celtics uh, Golden State game. That was a close game. Celtics lost. That was one of the big games. Uh, yeah. Top leading East Conference team versus top leading West Conference team. I, I'm still like basketball is like more playoffs to me, oh, but. Yeah. What about, um, what about um? What about Speak, LeBron? I got what about bye? What about LeBron? Cleveland sucks again. You, yeah, you think he's getting that side eye of like, hey man, I might need to get the fuck out of here. He's gonna do what he wants. He's, yeah. you know, a chance, like you said, maybe playoffs pop off third and third place. That's all. It's just rumor time, and then all of a sudden we'll be talking up. about the will and the courage that he, you know, what I'm saying, a man yeah. on his own, and you know, his hairline. Did you see yeah. his <laughs> last game I'm watching his hairline. I'm like, they took hair from the back of his head to the yep. front. Yeah, he of his did head. that. I know. There's oh, pictures yeah. actually showing the progression. But you know what the weird thing is? And then there's interviews with him, like making fun of people, telling yeah. them to shave their head, and it's like, yeah, you think <laughs> yeah. people yeah. don't shave their head? Well, again, money, money is a wonderful thing. It's a yeah, wonderful, man. wonderful thing. No, um, but it's funny, too, because me and uh, one of my coworkers were discussing it because LeBron is obviously taller than most people. Yeah. So I don't think in his head he's thinking about that the NBA cameras 
are uh, taller than him looking upon oh, yeah. his dope knees <laughs> like Jerome's knees. So yeah. you see the baldness everywhere. It's right. so patchy up top, but it to looks him, like a it's fucked the, up field. It hasn't been taken care of. It looks like, exactly. It's it the emperor like has no clothes, stand. right? I mean, he's just yep. there like, ha, ha, ha. And the people in the stands are like, exactly. But but look, mommy. But, but LeBron's like, but the front is lined up nice. Yeah, it's and he's like, yeah. Because he wears a hat back like this. So. <laughs> yep. Right? Attention kids, don't wear hats. Um, not every day. I don't know. Um, no, but uh, NBA news. Did you hear that they're a uh, serious boarding committee to legalize gambling for NBA? What do you think about that? I think that's great. great I think news. it's great. I think gambling should be legal. I think prostitution be, should be legal. All that shit. Everything legal. Except yeah. for the stuff that takes away from human rights. Yeah, human whites. Human rights, y'all. <laughs> oh, oh, no. <laughs> that's your man, human whites. <laughs> Walk your um, ass up to HR. Now, do you mean, um, as in they're going to implement a new gambling app a gambling right thing, exactly or, or oh it's just, everything everything's yeah. about an app and a website and basically yeah. like yeah on that game through nba what i'm assuming dot com you yeah, can like place the bet there draft kings it's NBA right kings, yes whatever. yes 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 yep awesome so and again i'm i'm kind of for it you know um let's see what happens in the long run though like if we run yeah. into like that you know shoeless joe eight men out pete rose or you know what i'm saying all the other stuff that's that, the other um, thing too are they talking about yes everyone can do it but the players well, that's always the case. That's yeah, always yeah, the yeah. case. You know, you can't have... Um, I will say, I think that's a good idea because it's just... It's You, you think it's going on already. You're already miserable yeah, that they... Games. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. just so at least, you know, legally, I guess, uh, uh, reap the especially rewards. Teams, especially teams that are down in the dumps. Like, I don't know their record, but I'm just going to assume that the Pelicans aren't that great. <laughs> so I could see, like, all right, Pelicans at the end of the year... Yeah, we're gonna lose this game. They have bet a million, and you know oh, it could yeah, be a yeah, quick dump the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah teams dumping yeah. for games that don't matter. So. But that's again so the take. But so here's the thing. The idea. No, but I'm see, sure here's already thought about that, but yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's happened once or twice in the past. I'm sure, I'm sure it's constantly College going on. Blue chips, yeah, baby, blue all chips. the way, blue all chips, the way. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I remember back going in down with UConn right now. You hear anything that's not? Yeah, UConn again. Um, back under suspicion. Um, what's it take to be the best? But uh, uh, what like about um, Hardaway and Shaq? Mm -hmm. I know. Oh, there's some Shaq it, uh, news. What did Shaq the say? To... That's one thing about Blue Chips <laughs> that was the best is it. I know it inspired me and you to go to the YMCA and just drop yeah. kick basketball. <laughs> like, Motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. We were just like, you just want to go to full court shot? Yeah. No, yeah, but we're just going to kick it. And I was thinking about the uh, YMCA in Ansonia. They had cages over the windows, so you the could just. Oh, boot yeah, the just launch it. The ball and just launch, launch that it. shit. Launch it, launch it. Blue chips, kick basketballs, kids, just launch them. Boot them. All right, that was know, cool. Just watch out for the one you boot it, and there's like a kid three feet away from it, <laughs> right in the face. Yes. Well, dangerous things happen um, as as kids. So I think that's kind of it in sports. Um, uh, what about uh, Hall of Fame news? You guys care? Does the Hall world of Fame care? News. I would love for to which uh, which sport? Baseball Hall of Fame. They announced the recipients. Are the Chipper, maybe? Chipper, Chipper's Chipper. in. Yay! Chip Jones. Yeah, Chip Chipper Jones. Jones. Real real name. Chip Jones. <laughs> real name Lawrence, I believe. Yeah, Larry, Larry Jones. Larry Jones made it. Um, Vladimir Guerrero made it. Vlad. Um, uh, yeah, if you guys, if, if you didn't know Vlad Guerrero, Vlad Guerrero can hit a ball anywhere, um, literally like cricket style, like balls yep. were thrown in the dirt, and he like, you know, shot a triple down the line. Nice. Um, and eye contact. Jim Tomey. Who doesn't know Jim Tomey? Yeah. Jimmy. He was like our Babe Ruth, you know what I'm beast. saying? Like, he's in there. Um, and then this one's, I, I'm kind of torn on, um, so two part. He third base, first base. He, yeah, yeah, more before. of a DH though, more yeah. of a DH as he got older. He was just a big no, no, boy, no, no. probably country boy, Indians. you know, Indians, yeah, it's Indians, classic. Indians, like Indians, Phillies, right? Um, mm -hmm. Here, there's Indeed. a guy not in the um, not in the Hall of Fame, um, but Trevor Hoffman made it in. Trev, my mm -hmm. man, right? T. Hoff. <laughs> <laughs> Again, he was, uh, um, oh, he's with the Padres. Uh, Second, second to Mariano and now saves. who are the uh, big names that still big names that didn't? That's in. actually what that's that's the bigger thing. Yeah. So um, first, first because again I'm a baseball homer. Um, mm. Edgar Martinez, you guys remember Edgar yep. Martinez? Yes. That's a name. Okay, that's a name. still yeah, not Mariners. Still exactly, yeah. Um, Yankee killer, still not in there. Um, no love. Great because he was basically because he was basically a DH. Mm. Um, he's not in there. But then you have the Juice guys, which I have a theory on that. So How many Juice guys, your name on top of your head in three seconds. Uh, Barry Palmero McGuire. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's baseball, so it's, it's all the guys that are pending on the list right now are yeah. the juice guys. Bond still isn't in. Bond still isn't in. So um, Clemens there. went down. Bonds went up. But see, here's and everyone's just like, well, what's going on? It's kind of like a double standard. Like, how can you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, one guy go, one guy go down. Mm -hmm. I think that basically they're waiting for A Rod. As soon as because now what's the deal with A Rod? Oh, is yeah, he gonna yeah, wait yeah, and everything? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So here's what I think is going to happen. I think a all these like guys the Jesus, maybe. are gonna get just enough votes to hang around. Yeah. And as soon as A Rod's available, they're saying, okay, this. 
this is the juice class yeah, and just yeah, get it yeah, done yeah, with yeah, keep yeah. it moving you know yeah. what i'm saying like this is this you know yeah. this is how we're gonna do they get it two you know asterisks to their name yep. that's right <laughs> and i'll be honest still that's that's a sport <laughs> that i'm like why not just fucking well here's I mean, here's the other part too, about I it i do understand Baseball. if this dude's all juiced up and he hits a line drive back and explodes the fucking pitcher's head i get it but no but that can but that can anything. happen if he's not on yeah. something what about the guy throwing the ball that now he can throw the ball 100 as yeah, opposed yeah. to yeah. 88 you Everyone's know it's gonna be enhanced enhance the field now, see, now you're on some like. I, I want to hear this. I'm on some super steroid baseball shit. Oh, okay, yeah. okay, okay. Oh, the field. Okay, I thought you were you trying know? to put up like you know. Oh yeah, everyone can hit the ball now 600 feet, so that's the basic left to right side. 600. So you say move everything. A, there's a thousand foot field now. That's the real fucking sport, right? But there. see, that's the you, thing too, where that could run be. A fucking, no. You run 200 feet. No, 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 so because faster. just like no, no, no. See, because now that's I'm going back much. to that's too much, right? no, because just like there's this constitution that was so simple, so simple rules <laughs> to, to to play the game. There's one for baseball, okay? Yeah, yeah. Sixty I mean, feet, six inches, ninety. You know what I'm saying? You're right. Level the playing field. Let's just you talk about legalized gambling. Let's legalize performance enhancing drugs. Then mm. you know what I'm saying? Like let's just do it. It's up there's, to you. You sure be responsible. Classes of drugs and it's, classes it's are allowed these all, from here up. No, like, but you know what though? Break the record. If you die, I hope you have enough money. You know what I'm saying? Your name will live for multiple reasons. It will live in fame. It'll live in shame. You know what I'm saying? You want to donate shame. your shit? Yeah. Like you know? Yep. But just legalize it and just hey kids, like for real, like this, you know. Show a picture. They're showing pictures of black lungs. Like, we'll show a picture of fucking tiny testicles and fucking, <laughs> yeah, yeah. you know what I'm saying, an enlarged heart or... Yeah. Or they could do... Legalize. Like, like how we were talking to XFL. Make another league where rules don't count. Like, right. make, make yeah. a... This is how, the um, dirty U league. UFC is strict with their drug testing and all that. Bellator, make a dirty league. Bellator, you can go in there and you <laughs> yeah. could fuck I, I, people at. Like, exactly. Bellator, people walk in with their heads three times the size and yeah. shit. And it's, it's weird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that could be cool, especially for the players that maybe can't make it in the MLB, make another league. Make, yeah. make that, you know, winter league. Or make people... a whole new sport. Exactly. With your own rules, a mix of baseball with football. Compare, and then with a little golf involved, you know? <laughs> so Remember football. basketball? Was that yeah. the guys from great. South Park? Yep. Remember that? That was... Um... Actually, at the... Um... Wrestling event I went to the other day, there was a guy with a baseball basketball jersey on. With really? The yeah. yeah. You know what would be great sport funny. for people that use uh, enhancement? Uh, if we made a Kill the Carrier League. Wow. But that's rugby, though, no? Yeah, well, I, I mean, it's not I'm insulting rugby. But I mean, so. I, I prefer Kill the Carrier because it just brings people there more. You know? Well, here's mm -hmm. even better. It's like, it's like playing mutant football back in the day for the for the video game. It's like yep. it's just something you've never seen. And it's just... Oh, speaking of things that you'll never seen, I was going to wait till now. I don't have video. So just enjoy the audio. Um... <laughs> <laughs> so things that you won't see, Bluffy McLiar pants is is just oh. you know. What does it say it again? Bluffy McLiar pants. Bluffy, oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Bluffy McLiar pants. pants um, BM. Unfortunately, BM. yeah, you're not going to get to see him, but um, <laughs> is enjoying talking to you and doing the show. Um, I think that's it for sports, right? I mean, do, for Vince, I do want to talk about Royal Rumble because that's going on, but maybe later Slow in the down. show. Well, even I, I'd like to bring up the thing of uh, how I, me and my buddy Cheddar went to. Um, Cheddar. We not went to Cheddar, a wrestling show last week. Um, the 205 Live in Poughkeepsie, New York. Poughkeepsie. It was a good time, but the main event, the guy that, you know, is the biggest thing in the uh, league of 205 Live, Enzo Amore, mm. just got fired from the WWE on charges of rape. Uh, girl came out. But this is the crazy thing. Out. He got fired because it's an in investigation that's been going on since October. He didn't tell Vince. Stupid fucking move, stupid yeah. fucking move. Like, it seems that... The girl's completely lying. Like, the girl's friends are coming out, showing texts that she sent yeah. of, I just fucked a famous wrestler. No, you didn't. I'm laying in bed right next to him now. Yeah. And then yeah. this girl comes out talking to TMZ about, like, he raped me. He's a wrestler. He's stronger than me. He threw me against the bed and knocked me out. He made me do coke and meth and all this uh, other shit. So I think he got caught up with the crazy gold digger They have text messages type. and proof it's maybe, but... Yeah, well, see, that's the thing, though. He didn't say anything, and now he's, I don't know. Because now you have the multiple Ooh. sides, because, again, that's the wrestling part about it. Um, you guys know or heard about Steve Wynn. Um, he's on mm -hmm. the Republican uh, um, Finance Committee, but he's also the guy who owns Wynn Casinos. Yes. He's, he's got, got allegations got on him, you know what I'm saying? So it's just, it turns it's just crazy, he said, mm -hmm. she said. Yep. Um, but, but one of the funniest parts about it, if there's anything funny to take from it, Enzo Amore, the gentleman that got fired, he went, it was the 25th anniversary of Raw. Mm -hmm. And that's also plays part in it because that's the day that WWE found out about it because they're trying to put together this big thing like it's a show. Stone Cold came back, everybody yeah. came back. 
and he walks in and they find out that the internet is blowing up that hey there's charges that you raped somebody these charges came out in october we're only finding out about them now but the funniest part is enzo amore walks in with a t-shirt that says today is the best day of my life on the back i can't wait for tomorrow <laughs> gets suspended that day tomorrow got fired yeah so it was just one of those like oh my yeah, god yeah, bad yeah. t-shirt to pick for that day but you, yeah. remember, you remember that guy i told you about cliff High with that predictive computer thing yep yep um supposedly we're, since we're talking about all this sexual harassment cases from March to like June, there's gonna be a lot of discussing shit coming out. It's gonna make the whole nation and public feel sick. Like this is what the fuck's going on in the world. Yeah. Like a lot of people will be caught with their pants down. But I think skeletons come up the closet. But Dicks I think out. It's, Dicks right? out. Balls right, from the window to the wall is not just a song. <laughs> um, we'll oh, that. that's another funny quick anecdote about um, WWE. The New Day, Kofi Kingston. For about four weeks, he got away with it. He kept just. Whatever, we're going to beat our opponent. You know, ski, ski, ski. <laughs> for about four <laughs> weeks until the white people in the back found out what skeet meant. And then you yeah, had to stop saying yeah, it. Yeah. It was amazing. <laughs> oh, man. But how are you say You want to talk about Vince Moore and uh, perhaps the XFL and all well, that? Well, no, actually, it was saying, um, I know we touched on that, but some WrestleMania. I mean, not WrestleMania, oh, Royal Rumble. Rumble because Royal yes. Rumble's tonight. Um, again, I haven't been watching as much, but I'm sure we all have um, Royal Rumble um, memories. Um, mm. I think I had some um, some trivia. You want to get to, um, I thought that was fun last week. And you, I will wanna... say, just just to add real quick, tonight, yeah, is, also the, tonight is also the first time there's a women's Royal Rumble as well. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, 30 that's women. Right, that's right. So, time. How many years did it take? Uh, yeah, but... <laughs> <laughs> Can we get a black champ? Can we get a black champ? I know it's all. I it, think it, it's like uh, Booker T wasn't a champ. Well, yeah, nah. five time, five time, five time. WCW champ. Oh, yeah. three time then. He was three time. Yeah, no, he held. He held Vince's strap. Yeah, but not the WWE title. It was still the world. Oh heavyweight God, he, he yeah, he didn't yeah. grace. But the Rock well, is the only subsidiary. one that is quote black that won the WWE title. Tony Atlas, no Rocky Johnson, Rock's dad. They were. That I wasn't... John. No, he was Intercontinental. Yeah. yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, it's one of those things, like, still to this day, no, quote, black. What about, what about Zeus when he took it from Hogan? No, that, yeah, because no, he took it, right? Yeah. It's the same thing, because you remember there's those special rules about, um, about, uh, uh... I'm really surprised there hasn't been a fucking professional black wrestling league. <laughs> well, right? no, there, yeah, there is, there is. I'm sure there's, there's got to be. There's a ton of indies out there. It's cool, like it's called up... backyard bras. Yeah, <laughs> like that. That was that dude, Kimbo. Yeah, rest in peace. Yeah, that's oh. one of the cool things about uh, wrestling now, though, is the indies are starting back up pretty strong. Like me and my buddies, we saw Rey Mysterio oh. in New York for fucking fifteen bucks. Yeah, oh, dude, Rey is looking yeah. at Diesel. You yeah, follow yeah. Rey Mysterio on Instagram. He's been yeah, no for for a while though. Yeah, and again, they all are to some point though, some type of HGH yep. as soon or as something. They got to WWF. But see, here's here's the thing though. Well, no, because the wellness policy over there. You know, believe it or not, they Vince is really cracking down. Now. But see, when I say, is he really cracking down, he's or is he just saying, down. like, look at yeah, guys, there's so cool. many better designer stuff out there. Like, yep. don't be getting the shit that's going to get caught on, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. but the only reason that I will Paper say that Russian he is shit. cracking down is because Roman Reigns was at the top, top, top. While he had the heavyweight championship, he got suspended for a wellness violation. Yeah. So it, it's not just, like, the little guy. Like, it, they're definitely... Oh, Randy hitting. Orton. Look at Randy Orton's story. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Anyone, anyone that um, follows along, Randy Orton, right, third-generation star. He yep. had two or three times. Like, he's potentially, yeah. like, one strike away from maybe never being there. Yep. Um, but here, some quick Royal Rumble um, uh, trivia questions. Some you may know. We'll just get through them um, um, quick. But who remembers the very first Royal Rumble winner? Wow. Uh, was it Hacksaw? Bing! Was there you Hacksaw? go. There you go. Little Hacksaw. Matt. Little Matt. Um, okay, do you know... Oh, any... <laughs> how did we not do that? <laughs> four by four. Right? Now, um, and now, what about um, lucky numbers? Do you think it's best to come in early or late? Do you, do you know if there's, there are a particular set of lucky numbers that have won? I believe, any care to guess uh, as to what they are? What is it? I, I think 27 was really lucky. Wow, 27. Austin, I think Austin came in at 27 and won. Yeah. Um, but Ric Flair came in at number one and won one year. That was crazy. So I think it was in the 92. Royal Rumble, let me just ask this question. Is it uh, in the Royal Rumble, it's automatically, hey, you're going to come in at number 27, and by the way, yes, you're going to win? No. Or is I mean, it more of an orchestrated dance of who's the best dancer in the ring to be the last one in? Or It's planned from one to 30, two weeks ago. What, what everybody's doing. This is more than, I mean, who? two weeks ago it was planned who the winner of no, Royal Rumble actually, is. Actually, well, here, here's, here's and some. And what number you were going to be walking in at. Everyone probably finds out tonight, but 
the plan, yes, was definitely two weeks ago. It's, uh, I don't well, want to sound like the asshole of the guy that says it's fake. I understand it's fake, but... <laughs> <laughs> You get my point. No, it's, it's predetermined. So twenty-seven yeah. is the lucky number. Even I, if no, Vince McMahon no, happened to no, that's not say true. You're gonna win anyway. That's not true. No, twenty-seven has won the most times. Oh. Um, for the it's Royal Rumble, some sort of Illuminati significance. <laughs> <laughs> give it to him. Give it I to him. Yeah. 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 You might foil. not be able to take it off for the rest of the like show. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> So, um, no, actually, what the, the winner of the Royal Rumble goes on to fight the champion at WrestleMania. Yes. That's, like, the big honor. Um, the Royal Rumble, actually, just like uh, WrestleMania, is actually um, the winners are decided their storylines six months to a year in advance. Yep. I read this uh, really, like, hmm. this long uh, article about how they went about it. So, yeah, so the people will find out today, more or less, like, when they're coming in, you know, maybe yeah. a little earlier. But the winners know who they are. And, and because you know, WWE else, has so. turned into Vegas betting as well, so they don't well, like People do, I know, which is out. scary, which is scary. That yeah, is very for a scary. predetermined very, uh, very, very, sport very, very to, you know, scary. go to Vegas betting, very like, scary. it's it's wild. So I think that's another reason why they keep it so close to the vest of, like, yeah, yeah we're not trying to let it get out who's going to win. So here's so here's another another question to go with that. You mentioned, I was my next question was, has anybody won from the number one spot? The actual answer is two people have. You said Ric Flair. Does anyone remember who the other one? Now, the only reason I'm saying it is because this is a guy, I'm asking the question because we all know him. So I'm not throwing out some random guy. This is a guy that, you you know, we probably, you know, yeah, we definitely oh, watching. Yeah, this is an um, easy one. This is uh, Coco Beware. <laughs> Chris Benoit <laughs> um, actually right. was the other person. Close. Um, Stone Cold won three times. Three times. Yeah, three, three times, times. winner. Yep. Um, yeah. Multiple winners. Anyone remember? Hulk Hogan. Hulk Hogan, a multiple winner. Randy Orton won two or three of them. Yep, yep, yep. Randy Orton twice. Actually, there's only been one three time winner. That was Stone Cold. Stone Cold. Ooh. Yep, so you had Shawn Michaels, two time winner. I was gonna say Triple Heartbreak. H obviously, right? You can't you can't marry oh, into the family without being on that list. <laughs> without getting a few and, and then the obvious Batista, Cena, and Orton. Mm. Okay. Um most eliminated contestants. It might be Kane. That's the old. The old record was new, held by Kane. They gave the new one to Roman Reigns then. Oh, this man, you can't yeah, you man. can't get nothing past they this gave man. The new one to Roman Lil Reigns. Mattress. <laughs> Down for the count. It's done. The new champion. <laughs> so we got a belt. Get this man a belt. I know. We gotta get a belt. Give me a foil belt. Come on. <laughs> how many? How many times has a woman entered the Royal Rumble? Three. Ooh. Correct answer is actually four. Oh, I know. I was so say. China was China. Definitely. Yep. China was the first person ever to enter. Um, here's 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 a bone right here. Who was the first person ever to eliminate a male opponent? Oh, wow. Who, female? Mm -hmm. Oh, it's China. China, yeah. That's the only um, woman that can. Come on now. We all know that. <laughs> Did anyone remember the four females? No? One, I, I knew two of them. China, I would say, was Beth Phoenix Beth one Phoenix of them? was one. Uh, Luna. No, no, surprisingly, Luna no Luna. No. And I would no. say. That was just Bam Bam was just beating her behind the scenes. <laughs> 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 Beat the meth into and out of her. <laughs> And who who were some of the uh, who like maybe like Mae Young? No, or, Mae Young uh, was not one. Um, uh, Khan, you know she's a, a recent oh, yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah she's yeah. on Glow actually. Khan, too. Um, uh, yeah, I dope. started to watch Glow. that. Yeah, I want to. Good man. Yeah. The name. I want to. <laughs> female wrestling is, is the our game. game. Oh, <laughs> we got it. Well, so that's like giving up the Glow. The glow wrestling. You didn't yeah. you didn't grow up properly wrestling. if you didn't. You remember like the oh, yeah. shoots that they used to do in Glow? You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Little promo Dude, spots. Glow was the first reality show. They were doing <laughs> all that shit, man. Glow was wild. Um, okay, here's a, 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 a again, just throw names out there. Razor six Ramon. People, <laughs> six people have lasted over an hour in the match. Wow. Um, any names? Flair. Shawn Michaels. Flair. No, surprisingly, Shawn Michaels. Stone no. Cold. Bret Hart. Nope. No. We got Flair. You said last so over an hour? Over an hour in the match. This is Iron Man match. Nope, nope. This is Royal, Royal Rumble trivia. Oh, Royal, Royal Rumble, Rumble in honor trivia. of tonight's last Royal Rumble. Um, hour. Edge? No Edge. What's Rey Mysterio. Name? Rey Mysterio. That's yeah, right. Number that. two. Everyone loves his small dog to be in there forever. Now yep. think about it now. Who else would love to be on this list? This is the stroker of all strokers list. Pause. Ted DiBiase. No. Uh, Triple H himself. Oh, Triple H. He wants to be on. If you ask any 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 wrestling trivia, he will always be. Yeah, yeah. He'll be you know? in the numbers. True. He'd be like the most decorated wrestler, and you're like, yeah, but it's also fake. So you 
wanted to see your name yeah, yeah. in he the also top five. Took over like creativity when it came to the acts. And yeah, yeah, like meaning you created your own McMahon's when you inserted yeah. your seed. No, dude, Sting <laughs> came in and Triple H fucking Sting and Triple H at WrestleMania and Triple H went over. It's I like, know, yeah. yeah. And for those that don't know, I know it was no type of respect. It was just no. like really, it's it was like, down, yep, you know, just to show you guys we won. And the truth of it is, <laughs> the truth of it is, a big wrestling fan. But I mean, Triple H, like I just look at it as like everyone talks about the click, the click, and yeah, how like yeah. they changed wrestling. He was the one dude that just wasn't sure if he could get a job somewhere else, so he hung around. Yeah, everyone Ooh. else was just uh, uh, Triple, Triple H because he was okay, the, cause all the, the guys guy in the click. Yeah, yeah. Hard, I'm no, he was the one guy that was just well, yeah, you know. Well, because um, this was the thing is he came over from WCW. Yeah, then they did the curtain call that everyone that shocked that, the world that, yeah, and yeah shocked the world you know then, then that, nash and hall left you know you know it comes down. you know that story comes down to like probably like the whole fanboy thing like if you don't know that story you know you're just yeah. really not a wrestling fan yeah. you know well also and one of the only reason that 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 story lives in infamy is because a fan snuck in a fucking video camera and yeah. recorded it because that's the only it was a dark of show it. right yeah yeah and yeah, it's yeah. one of those like he snuck in a camcorder <laughs> in like 1990 into the venue. Who's patting this dude down? Yeah, like, it's true. he got in there with a camcorder, <laughs> but um, full VCR tape. You know what I mean? Not the mini joints. Like he got in there with a. This shit was on his shoulder. This is and he the was legit recording. bootleg. Mm -hmm. Now here, yeah, the now, bootleg of all. Here, wrap up um uh, Royal Rumble real quick because we'll probably spend a little DDT. time, a little time uh, talking about this guy. But um, and it's a, it's a simple one to pay homage to the man. But one guy. Was in the Royal Rumble three times. Who was he? Was in the Royal Rumble he three times? He was in the times? Royal Rumble three times in one night. Oh, Mankind, Cactus Jack, Mick Foley. Uh, bang, bang, and, bang, uh, bang, bang. That's yeah. right. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> um, He'll go down as what, top ten or? He's All easily, time? I mean, as far no. as heart goes and. Top 50. You know, least. and I mean heart, not top like. Top 20, I would put Mick Foley up in yeah, there. Yeah, Dude, 20. just for. Getting launched He's off the fucking cage like, like yeah, that. Like, yeah. holy shit. Yeah. I and mean, it, passion and, and the three different characters. The three dope, different man. characters. Uh, the, the, I mean, four. If you he's wrestled on different continents. He's spit teeth out yeah. through matches. He's he picked his ear up. Yeah. I mean, and and um, do you guys remember speaking of early? You know, what I'm saying the '80s style uh, uh, camcorders. Mm. Do you remember he was in high school doing doing the dude love character? Yeah, jumping you know what I'm off saying? his roof. Jumping and off shit. his roof. Yep. You know, so I mean, True. he's you know the Hardy Boys have an interesting story like him too. Yes. Um, oh, here's uh, um. Uh, 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 let's see who does this one. Um, two two uh, Royal Rumble moments that I actually remember. Um, you guys remember the Kofi Kingston um, handstand? Every year, man, Kofi. he comes up with every something every yeah, year. Yeah. So it's just how, what's, yeah. Amazing. How's you know you know Kofi Kingston's not gonna win, but yep, you're like, yep. how is he no, going to say you know? He doesn't remember people. this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, because I think what did was it him or somebody did something like really really booty where they went onto like the rail and they walked the rail and then jumped back in. It was yep. like, well, your feet didn't touch the floor, yeah, yeah. you know. So and then the, the original was if you roll out underneath and get out, you're fine. You can roll back. In. Well, no, if two yeah, feet, yeah. is it? Yep, because you, you have to go the over the top rope and both of your feet have to touch the ground. So, the so somebody can knock you out and you say you roll underneath the rope? You can hit oh, the Oh, right, and get yes, back in. yeah, yeah, yeah. That was, oh, yeah, yeah. I remember but yeah, that once you go over there. the top rope, over the top rope, the two feet hit the ground. So the originator, though, was, um, was, uh, um, Kobe. HBK. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He HBK was the one, um, with the hang on and, yeah, sexy boy. Not your boy, toy. Uh, later we'll get that for you. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, karaoke night. <laughs> All right, so no more. No, I have no more wrestling stuff for you. So which yeah, way do we want to go? I would We're, say the the last thing to end on is man, XFL coming back twenty twenty. I excited love it. about it this time. I, back I am forward. excited about it. I mean, once again, no, I don't think it's going to reach the level of the NFL, yeah. but I think it can be a co listen. Who the fuck watches the WNBA? How the fuck are they still in business? Well, like, the sponsors, that's why. Yeah, you know, so um, I think XFL can make a go of it this time, yeah. especially because... And I'm actually a WNBA fan, so if there's anybody yeah. that might catch the show, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'll go to the Mohegan for some yep. tickets. Like, free you know. tickets. <laughs> no, well, not because they're free, though. I would support and spend money, too. Hey, um, but you can't see the face that I'm making because I don't have a camera. <laughs> uh, um, I, but, think it's, I think it's, uh, it's going to be a different option. I think now is the right time to... And you got to remember... The NFL took a ton of shit that the XFL started and implemented it in there. Like the cameras, the, the cameras yeah. on the field, yeah, all that yeah. stuff, miking up players was big. Mm -hmm. Like, So I think they can do some stuff. And they're another one that are trying to implement that betting into it yeah. as well. With their, uh, their press release, they were talking about oh, okay. they want fans to be able to decide things, and betting is definitely a part of it. So that'll be interesting. I wonder if interesting. they went into it where if they were – 
had the money to put a microphone on each helmet, so you got every play. Yeah. First person. Do. Well, but you know what though? Those they 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 got those microphones that pick up a lot though too. You know, like yeah, you yeah, like, you know. Like but yeah, you can. Thing. How much do what they want us? To, how much do they want us to hear? Is the thing. How many you know? times do you want to hear the N word in one fucking? Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Football yeah. game. You know, talk about like you know, hey, the you know, there's women that are getting lost and everything, and hear them. You know, is hey, you know, your little man, your little pussy, like you know, yeah, be yeah. like. What do you what do you um, think for baseball? If maybe they could have a miniature camera that wasn't in the way and when it uh, prohibit them from playing the game, but. Was we could see every view. So fly ball to center field. No, you see it coming. baseball's fine. The guy hits a double. You baseball's see fine. The bases. I think baseball's maybe on fine. the refs would be okay or the umpires. They do. Yeah. Yeah. There's yeah. There's yeah, there's an actual cam that's right on the right like a glasses cam. Mm. So they have they have that one. They have base cams. You can see when they, baseball's fine. The thing about baseball is if you don't enjoy it, like don't go to the game because it's a slow, patient game. So you got to pay attention. Baseball to get the robot. You know. Ump. That. Well, that's I'm for that. You want to make yeah. a change? I say, I say, put in an electronic computer system and make have it change. have it in the in the umpire's ear. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Keep him there and just yeah. whatever. If it's one beep, two beeps, or whatever it is, yeah, yeah. do the yeah. game that way. Um, but leave it alone. Um, maybe we could speed it up a little bit. But that's another thing that they're talking about with the XFL. Uh, he's trying to get games two hours done. You know? Yeah. He was talking about eliminating halftime, perhaps, or making halftime. 10 Less, minutes, well, here's fucking, here's you know, the here's the thing. Hour. If yeah. they're pay them very well and put the, they'll put their body on the line, and I'm sure it'll be a hell of a show. Yep. Now, may, his thing is how are you going to take care of them after? Vince doesn't have the best track record of taking care of people after they have no. no Besides rehab, they'll, they'll pay for you to go. To <laughs> well, yeah, rehab you rehab for the rest but, of your life. But no, I feel you. Eight teams, right? Then each eight teams is uh, forty people, and they're I believe all so. To yes. Be getting paid equally. Right. I, I'm not sure about well, the pay, they're but all getting equal yeah. pay. Yeah, and then they probably with a prize pool as you progress. And again, I kind of think that's how sports should be. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, baseball's got the crazy contracts, but I say, like, if you lead the league in something, then hit the bonus money. Yeah, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, you guys got guys just, you know, look at A Rod the last two years. He was making like $27 million to, to rehab himself. To and, be all right. <laughs> you know, yeah. So that was just, that but was I think, ugly, man, ugly. It's, uh, XFL is two years away, so they got two years to get everything right, two years to get everything together. Last time Vince McMahon did the XFL, he did it, and then in like eight months they were on TV, and it was from like an idea to on TV. So I think this time he's going to go ready. in. He yeah. got his money from Bitcoin. He invested like five years ago. That's the thing too, Vince, and he's starting with a hundred million dollar investment from us. He sold a hundred million dollars. Oh, of his own, yeah, yeah, yeah. WWE himself, yeah. stock yeah, to because yeah, yeah. now his new joint is a uh, Alpha Entertainment. Alpha, yep. So man, I think he's got hey, a e. chance. Hey, e. I think it's got a chance of being. I mean, because listen, there's one football league. If yeah. you're number two, cool. I'm all about <laughs> Vince doing his thing, and I uh, wish him the best, Vince. Yeah. Good luck. It's the third time, right? Ode, ode, ode to Vince. Um, and you want to know something interesting thing? Um, those um, who have a passion for wrestling, go to the WWE site. I used to visit from time to time. They're always mm. hiring for, like, really cool and creative things. Yeah. Really? You know, yeah, yeah. Like super, what? super interesting. Writers. Uh, right, writers is one of the big things. Writers, yep. but you got you to gotta earn your stripes, uh, obviously. And you got to have a past in it. Um, but anything yeah. to, um, you know, from camera work to, um, you know, yep. photographers awesome. to whatever type of web stuff, you know. Yeah. Um, and, you Costume know, and the, designers. The, yeah. Yeah, no, exactly. They're, they, yeah. Believe yep. me, like it's you know it's creative entertainment. Like you know, if yeah. you got that type of mind, even uh, social it. media stuff, they want people for that. All there's, of that. There's yeah. a myriad of jobs yeah, 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 out yeah. there. It's pretty cool. Opening the doors mm -hmm. for millennials, for the youths, for the youths. Kick the truth, drop Young kick them from the top <laughs> rope. <laughs> Man, all right. So what else we have? What do you want to hear about? I mean, I, there's, I there's all types of wrestling. Thing. What you got, Ted and Mike? I just want to hear <laughs> favorite off the top rope move. Ooh, mm. uh, my Billy Kidman, that fucking the moon saw was itch. it? He, it was seven year itch. Yeah. He, he, did, he stood forward and did a backflip, a backflip while going forward and landing on him. Like it was yeah. a, a oh, forward wow, yeah. backflip, whatever the hell. They yeah, call a that. forward backflip, whatever. You've seen people do it in a pool before where they run forward but then backflip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He did that. I, I like that move. What about you? How about you, uh, Bluffy McLeod? <laughs> it's tough. You want to know something because old school instantly. You want to talk about the Macho Man elbow? You, say that. Yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, there's yep. a lot of top rope moves. You know what I'm saying? Like the um, believe it or not, as stupid as it was, like who didn't like the frog splash? Only because he went Ooh. so high. You know what I'm saying? Um, obviously anybody with anybody with a 450 was, was just like, yeah. But yeah. really, the end of the day was was You're talking about Hooventude, right? With the 450, all of yeah. them. All Hoobie there's a whole bunch of people Hoobie. had. You know what I'm saying? But but Blitz at the end of the day, <laughs> the dopest move comes down to the elbow drop by Randy yeah. Savage mm -hmm. only because the height 
he, the height he would launch himself from one corner to the other yep. corner so you know what i'm saying it wasn't yep. like you could see when they're gonna set up for their moves like you know they'll kick their feet and position them and mm -hmm. no randy whatever he did to you he would go to the opposite corner yeah. and just yep. go and the and the cool part about it was he was dropping it on your adam's apple <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you were done yeah <laughs> you know and it's like and i you know everything truly yes it's predetermined but dude it's tough to fake that. Like, Macho Man was coming down on some people. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. he definitely landed on <clears throat> yeah, some people yeah. and broke some ribs. Sorry, brother. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but, hey, to make it look actually, I think we could probably do a whole show on this one, but talk about some truth to it. Like, there's a give and take. You know what I'm saying? There's a role that you're playing yep. with. And you're not, you're not super best friends with these people, but I love the old Andre the Giant and yeah. Ultimate Warrior cool. stories. Did you hear yeah. that one? Like, Andre used he to step him. on the Ultimate Warrior's hair. Yep. So when he tried to move a role, up. you know, it was just, yeah. oh, my God. Yeah. That, the other yeah. thing, uh, Andre, he didn't like Jake the Snake either. He would do that same shit. He would stand on his hair and pull his fucking arms up and yeah. just torture the dude. Yeah. <laughs> Mine it will be after, uh, the, I was just old school, but this is before when... Uh, top rope, right? Top rope. But this is, uh, it wasn't it wasn't as great as yours. It was uh, the Frankensteiner from... The Frankensteiner yeah. was you know? dope. Like, yes. reason, it was so easy, but everyone yep. could do You know, it's just, it was cool. But yeah, and to you know, see I a man it. of that size do it was yes. different for that yeah, day. Yeah. And it was crazy was he was big then, and now he's just like, oh, you dude. know... He's like, ridiculous. That was my favorite, but yeah, just I was thinking because oh, his brother's name was Ricky or something. Ricky yeah. Scott, Ricky yeah, 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 Michigan University. Ricky Scotty, when they're you know the era of seeing them in the same era. That of was seeing, the tag um, teams, right? Tag teams yeah. were cool. Who times. was uh, oh the uh, the Wild Things? Who was the Wild Things? Uh, Shawn Michaels and um <sighs> the Rockers. The Rockers. Oh, the Rockers. The Rockers. <laughs> The no, actually, you, but here's a, uh, uh, and again, we're never going to let this go, but a quick WrestleMania moment, probably mm. by far the greatest without missing a beat. You guys remember the Bushwhackers? Oh, yeah. One of the Bushwhackers was coming into the Royal Rumble, and they used to have that crazy, stupid walk. He walks into the ring, somebody hip tosses him on the other side, and without missing a beat, he did, he did the walk. <laughs> he just walks back. It's, it's the greatest, it's the best, I'm telling you, <laughs> yeah. like, you know. That's, that's, that's one of the that, that's that's another. You know uh, who uh, did cool. a similar one to that a couple years ago is uh, the Godfather. Remember he had the hose. Yes, yes. He walked down to the ring with the hose. He took his jacket <laughs> off, all that stuff. He gets in the ring, stands up, gets clotheslined over. Boom! The, the girl puts the jacket that, back on him. Was yeah. the Godfather Savio Vega or was it no, 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 Papa no, Shango? Yeah. Papa Shango. But, Papa Shango. But the, the Godfather did get caught up in legal troubles as an actual. Uh, um, um, Pimp. Pimp, yeah. yeah which is well, even bigger. now, he because I listen to a lot of the podcasts, and shit, he actually runs a strip club in Vegas now. He's big uh, marijuana um, enthusiast, all that. Yeah. Still right. paints his face and everything. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking looking like a booty dude to go into a strip club. <laughs> so actually, well, maybe keeping in entertainment, let's drop a couple things real quick that are happening on... Um, Last this week. things entertainment in the week. Job I like it. Let's drop them. Job, job uh, like it. Waco. Waco's coming out. Six part miniseries. Is anyone interested? Should we watch it? Do Waco, a report Texas? on it? Yeah. And remember David Koresh? Should we? Are we? Are we interested? Is there still truth to find out? Is this the um the I'm media's buy interpretation? A house in Waco. What's going on out there? Maybe I shouldn't go. What's up? Yeah. Well, a couple years ago, actually, uh -huh. you might be best best to um maybe no. But, Does it apply uh, with the Looney Rule? No. Some Looney no. Shit? Yeah, it is. It is Let's definitely some Looney shit. He's got the CIA's involved, FBI's okay. involved. Um, but David Koresh, he had a uh, in the in the um, what are they called? They the uh, Corinthians, not the Corinthians. The uh, oh, they the Corinth Branch Davidians. Branch Davidians. Mm -hmm. He had his own little chapter, Texas. You okay. know what I'm saying? Um, well, maybe Clinton was the president at the time. Uh, but yeah, smoked him out. On. You know what I'm saying? Like there was a standoff and no six part miniseries. The state? I'm not gonna tell. I'm not gonna say what was happening. You is gotta this watch the church that uh, Alex Jones helped build again. I don't know. I don't know. I I've, uh, I try to tune out to Alex Jones. Um, yeah, okay, his his cousin Chipper, though. Chip um, Jones. Yes, yes. Cousin oh, Chipper. Hall of Fame. Lawrence. Oh, that's that was rough. Lawrence of the Arabia. Arabia. Ouch. Oh, thank you. Turn the uh, crowd. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, but I think somebody it'll be closed the door <laughs> because a lot of those um, six part miniseries or whatever part miniseries are dope. Like the OJ one was great. Yeah, yeah. They came out with one. Well, about see, the... here's the thing though. Like I talked about before though, this will this will mold a lot of people's impression on what actually happened. Yes. So, yep. but here's what I say. Everyone should watch it because there's a new generation of people that have no clue about it. So I would yep, say yep. watch it. I'm going to watch it. Maybe um, we'll drop some more um, some That more one nuggets. was dope. The Casey Anthony one was dope. And also the uh, uh, Ramirez, or no. Who were yeah, the, the brothers. The, the brothers Menendez. that killed yep. The yep. Menendez yeah. brothers. Yeah. They have one I haven't seen it yet, yeah. but I'm interested. I, yeah, well, they, that, that happened during my high school year. So I remember tuning into that. Um, yeah. I'm just kind of like old school with some of those things. Some of those cases were like from my childhood where I was like, eh, I'm not going to watch it again. Like I remember, you know. You know CNN and yep. everything you know crazy shit going I remember on. being in science grade um yes yeah, science grade eighth grade in science <laughs> class um when 
we turned on the TV and we watched the OJ verdict, which was crazy. Mm. Yeah, right? oh, yeah. We saw 9-11. I remember yeah. I was at the, uh, I was working in school, at, don't, oh. I thought I was in school. I might have stayed back that year. 9-11? That might have been the last year, yeah. <laughs> I think it might have been. I think I stayed back next year. <laughs> No, no yeah, I was working in the mall. You were and done with school. No, no, no you were still in school. When the towers came down, I know school, exactly yeah. where I was. I was sleeping yeah. in the back of algebra. <laughs> yeah. I yeah, remember I was, I was actually driving. I was driving. Yeah. Actually, but speaking where you were in classes, how's this one for childhood scars? This is when you're, you're like, okay, what's really going to happen in life now? Um, fourth grade, okay, um, <sighs> Challenger. Challenger's going to go up. Oh, wow. Crystal McAuliffe. We're why they bring <laughs> women out the TV. We watch this thing go up. Boom. boom. Fourth grade, like, yeah. wheel the TV out, like, Oh, shit. Uh, <laughs> we're gonna was, do we're gonna uh, do states and capitals now. We're not gonna talk about fucking science yep. and the solar system and, um, but yeah, um, divert your know. attention away from. <laughs> the but yeah, so back back to <laughs> entertainment. Is this a diversion? Have you guys seen this? Is this real or not? Um, Wonder Rush Woman, Chicago West, yes, real. Wonder it's Woman, real. Wonder Woman, no uh, Oscar nominations. Is that a problem? That's my question. I didn't see the movie, so I couldn't tell you. And, and honestly, I don't know the other movies that are... Justice uh, League, Wonder Woman, is a, they were good. I don't know if it's ready for uh, an award. I think the some people get caught up in um, the... Genitalia? Yeah, I'm going to go crazy with this word right here. <laughs> <laughs> some people do. But some people, I think, get caught up with the hype around... This is the first female... Uh, action star movie yeah, this yeah. is the first female superhero movie Hillary so it's gotta be because be... she's the first one running exactly so i well, think there there might I, and yeah, but that's, that's, again I that's not though that that's i, know. I, I didn't I'm see the movie so so i don't know exactly how good it was but i think people get on the hype of like batman vs superman was supposed to be fucking amazing yeah it yeah. was well, shit well here's the thing every shit. every superhero movie is going to miss the mark um again to me Justice it's league missed the mark. to me it's oh it's yeah. oh it's always going to be a non um really a non-issue i just think that maybe missing the mark like a courtesy a courtesy nomination like is it i don't know mm. like really like i'm I don't, i'm not caught up in the oscar oscar caught thing yes yeah, yeah. so to just nominate it you know what i'm saying but it, it was a decent movie. I I, I, I thought it was whack. My personal opinion was yeah. it was good. It was a good storyline. I don't think that the world is ready for Wonder Woman. It's going to cause a whole big old problem with with this whole women feminism. It's, and it's a great movie. Great actress. Is she ready right now just to take over and be like she's the best superhero? No, because what about the uh, Scarlett Johansson? No, 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 no. no. I, I don't even think. Um, <laughs> I, I think it's just picking picking a point. Um, but what do you know the other nominees? Like, are they? Because I know that well, sometimes here, there's, they, so many there's always the movie that no one ever saw. Right, saw. right, 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 right. Yeah, stuff. no, again, Street it was Hanks. just it was just a but, big. But you were saying it got now it got froze out for every single category for everything or for just best. I movie. believe so. I believe so. That's um, interesting. But also, if you on the same that's a token, bluffy McLeod pants. <laughs> on the same token, Get Out was. They threw that shit in the comedy category. Yeah, which but I think it was, was some bullshit. It was, well, it, it depends though, because again, it, it, look who made the movie. So, so I think the reason why they put it in there is because they say this guy is a comedian. So, you know, so it, it's a little shame on everybody. I think um, it's. I think, I think it's it was wrong. Incredibly tone deaf to do that. Shit. I think you're. I think you're right. But I think they said the guy that made it's a comedian. He's a funny guy. So this is a. You know, everyone's just shock value. What are we on? Com on, on comedians right now? No, no, no. Just the movie Get Out. Did you see uh, it? No. You have to see it. It's um, real good. You have to see it. Yes, lot, I definitely recommend it. Definitely recommend of, it. A lot of uh, white hatred. Yeah, but yeah. It's, so it's, it's but under it's suspense drama. No, it was just get out. Get just out. Just get out. Yeah. Um, but okay, well here's uh, another one. Um, video, get it out. Want to get to a uh, video game? Do you guys play God of War? God of War. Who doesn't? I don't. I um, don't. <laughs> no, no. Well, is that, they're making that. You. They're making that a movie. Is that? Is that, ooh, is that ooh, worth you seeing? See the face. You see the face. Ooh. Video game movies are. Tough, Mortal right? Kombat, I was whack. gonna say, yeah, I know, yeah, yeah. Kombat. Street Fighter, right? Yeah. Ouch, wow. ouch, that Chun Claude Van Damme, we talking about is a shit. <laughs> John Claude Johnson, take that back. Um, what, what, um, yeah, but what, what are is, some others that have? Well, no, here's there's there, there's sorry, all yeah, long ahead. list of failures. So, but what I was gonna say, what I thought was a good one was I actually saw Assassin's Creed, and I thought that was close, mm, close to good. That's the closest. I enjoyed thing. That, but I think yeah. for the that most game, part. I, I think movie. I think that I think that video games don't do well. Don't yeah. a Rampage. Rampage is coming with, with yeah. Dwayne the Rock Johnson. Well, you want to talk video games? Batman, the great video game, and Ken's a great movie. That's you know that's I mean? no. It I was think the comic first. Yeah. Video games first. Yeah, but so, but speaking uh, of Rampage. 
Somebody needs to tell The Rock that he's rich. Because I don't think he... he no, did. but that's... It, the Rock has got the ego to stroke. They're just like, uh, we got a new it's movie. Him. And Correctly. Rock's just like, nobody wants to see me. They're like, everybody loves The Rock. He's just like, yeah, everybody does love The Rock. <laughs> well, fine. See, the thing is, when you talk to The Rock in the third person, you're just boost Because yeah, The yeah. Rock talks to... Dwayne talks to The Rock. And you know what I'm yep, saying? Yep. Like, there's something... The Rock don't realize he's uh, a puppet. You think he is? He's a puppet. He didn't even know it. Where's Who's that? not a puppet? Trump's not a puppet, right? MK Ultra, MK Ultra puppets, I The think, Rock. Yeah, I just think The Rock, because he came from so low, I think he doesn't know how to say no. Like, his production company Ooh, is called... Came from so low, Seven, he don't know how to say no. <laughs> bars. Tell him. Uh, you know, his production company is called $7 Production or 7 Bucks yeah, Production yeah, or whatever, yeah. because he was so poor, he only had $7 left, and now he's... But I think that might be part of it is that, like, my grandfather lived through the Great Depression, so he never threw anything out. Yeah. I think The Rock mm. was so poor at some point that he's just like, I'm, I, what am I going to do? Turn down a $20 million movie? It doesn't matter that it sucks. It did, but, yeah, he's put out some fucking trash. Yeah, I think I think then maybe then, if, if, if I can tinfoil it for a minute, maybe all these stars are getting their all their money so that way when shit collapses, you have to pick a team. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm. they're all going to be like parents. They're like, getting Oprah's this gonna, money, but Oprah's they're going to say things. like, hey, look it, here's what's going on. The world's about to come to a crazy end. But um, help us fuck it up and perturb it. <laughs> no, no, yeah, no. Yeah, because look at Saturday Night Live. The Rock is getting paid millions to make the fucking robots uh, child molesting thing. Like, who in their right mind would do that unless you want to get paid? I didn't see exactly. that. That's you wild. Seen though. That? No. The Rock on Saturday Night Live, and he plays a mad scientist. And they make the most evil... Pro uh, they but the, the Saturday, evil Saturday Night Live has been known to do... And they, they make the most evil thing, and his project, what he made was a, a robot that molests kids. Wow. It's on Saturday Night Live. But and that, yeah, but that yeah, was... That's, that's weird. The, yeah. But yeah, it's all to his promotion, so good, good on it. <laughs> well, how do you job, follow Rock? that up? <laughs> you can't. Molest the right. kid. Watch Jumanji. Let's Only go. The way to follow that up is uh, if you believe in outer space, if, aliens, if, religion, and if the creators are coming back and... What the powers of beer are gonna do? They don't know what they're gonna do. What are you gonna do? Exactly. That's that's uh, um, definitely exactly. entertainment. That, that that's entertainment. What about? Yeah, I'm ready for it. Speaking of uh, um, um, space, any space stuff? I do know that that uh, planet, not the I planet, not the SpaceX? asteroids. Oh, SpaceX. Yeah, did you hear? Now, I don't yeah, talk about Elon Musk. Is, is it true do you or know not? What's going like, on? Did did their joint blow up or did it go? No, how it was supposed to. Did yeah, it disappeared. You know, no, so the government, so the government funding is back, back in effect. Like I said, you know, last week we talked about it, it was shut down. Obviously, our very next day was on a uh, uh, backup. So now that that's back up, SpaceX is going to launch. He's launching. Um, the ship is called Heavy Falcon. He's trying to just shoot it up into um space for the moment. There's a side side comment where he's like, "This is all of the plan." And he's like, "But to be completely honest with you, he goes, I just don't want it to." Blow blow up close to you know what i'm saying like mm -hmm. everything Earth, else yeah. you know what i'm saying because re really he's got no idea like he's like this is the plan you know but like you know um so but yeah i think that's pretty um pretty interesting as far as space exploration um yeah. here's another interesting thing um as far as planets happen. go let me <laughs> but but i will real quick with him uh that girl's gonna fuck it all up though which one amber heard She's going to ruin the... Uh, she, listen, like... Uh, this is the first time I dude, heard of Amber, though. Bars? Um, the... Uh, uh, what's his name? Elon Musk. He could be our Tony Stark. He could be right, our yeah, fucking yeah, Iron Man. I could Man. see that. I could see that. The, I'm not sure if you heard in the news, like, the past whatever years, the woman that was married to Johnny Depp that just took him to the fucking cleaners. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's Amber Heard. Oh, okay. She Have is fucking of? Elon Musk right now. Oh, okay. Yeah, She's, so, it's gonna... so what do you know about her? Because she's definitely then some type of um... now. But this is the thing too, where Elon Musk, he was you know <laughs> complete computer nerd to the fullest. Yeah. Now he's you know cool nerd. But oh, no, no, yeah. now he's got the money to be cool, and I don't think he can handle that pussy. To be honest with you, you I think, think it's gonna so? ruin everything. I think it's gonna ruin everything. Who knows? Mm. Who knows? I think Elon right now, what he needs to do is uh, focus on crypto. <laughs> 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 which, by the way, which I be fair, be fair about it. Be fair about it. Um, have you been watching crypto the last week? Last any week, any cryptos, news or any news of cryptos? Yeah. Um, did you hear about Stripe? Stripe no longer accepting. Um, yeah, I heard, I heard, I heard about that. Uh, starting so, in February, April. But who is? I believe it's the end of this month. Uh, Someone else is though. If you if you're looking for the system to, to get your cryptocurrencies onto some sort of uh, Visa card, BitPay right now. BitPay? They're They've still been doing working it, for it out. Years. Don't be a victim of the system. BitPay, they, uh, 
I don't know if you guys heard of it since we're on the crypto news. You heard 50 Cent for his 2014 Yeah, album. yeah, I had that. Yeah, see if you're going to touch yeah, on that. Yeah, yeah. What did he find now? How, how, does, how do you find got, $9 million? Nine million? No, he just forgot about it. He forgot yeah. he was paid in Bitcoin for one album, and now looking back to see the price of it, he's like, oh, great news. I just uh, I fucking yeah. quadrupled my money. He earned like he earned $400,000 in Bitcoin back then. Oh, for okay. okay. For his album. Uh, now it's it worth $9 million. It might have been... Um, uh, that one. Yeah, it's called that the one. Bitcoin album now. Is what it's right? called. It's a nine million dollar album. Is what it'll offer yep. him. And then, well, to. so as far as the entertainment people talking about cryptos, Fifty Cent, Snoop Dogg, and Katy Perry, they're slowly bringing people's attention to the crypto space. You know, interesting thing though, all all people who would some would view as part of the puppet Illuminati people though. Yeah, I definitely see you know that. Katy Perry, right? She's <laughs> definitely up there. You Definitely. know, and um, she and her last album cycle was weird, dude. And I'm not talking about the music. I'm talking about how she did the. Remember what Miley Cyrus did? Like that's two what years I'm saying. Ago? Yeah, exactly. She did that. Yeah, where she yeah. was just like, well, I think she I'm tried crazy. To do I that. cut off yeah. all my hair. Yeah. I wear body suits. You can almost cry see my help. nipples. Tell there. him. Yeah, it was crying for him. help shit. Yep. It was some Tell weird him. like. Hey, Katie, I'm here for you. Tell him. And she kept referencing. Um... Oh wait, Thank guys, thanks, thanks, guys. Um. And she kept referencing Britney Spears in 2007, shaving her head. Like, in every interview, she kept trying to do the cool thing of, like, yeah, you know, things aren't going that well, but I'm not Britney in 2007. Like, she yeah. kept forcing that into the uh Like, that was crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't look at this. <laughs> Don't compare me to that. Compare me to this. But even, like, her music took an ultra-sexual turn. It was just bad. I thought she was always like that. Like, she was, I think she was going to try to work it out. You know, she lost in her eyes. I think the whole Russell Brand thing, I saw her completely different. You know what I'm yeah. It was almost like, maybe she's an artist and up-and-coming, and she could be, like, you know, 10, 20 years. Maybe like she in was the... going south when she started fucking with Riff Raff. Yeah. Well, that's always the crazy. Yeah, that's... you see him now, though? Dude, swole. Yeah, well, he, he stopped doing drugs. Yeah. That was the thing. Yeah, he stopped doing cocaine and... Decided to do, uh, eat some food. <laughs> <laughs> My That's metabolism is crazy. Down, right? I know, I know. Um, but yeah, no, what else? Uh, um, no, because I actually oh, saw Bitcoin took a couple of hits though. Um, took a couple of hits, but it keeps on swinging. Mom. Did you hear about? Um, did you hear about a uh, uh, Bitcoin in Japan? Bitcoin in Japan, over <gasps> five hundred million stolen from uh, KuCoin. Fifty-eight, uh, yeah, fifty-eight, fifty-eight billion yen, which is three hundred and fifty million. Um, scary it goes That's, to show yeah. how you got to learn how to store your crypto yeah, absolutely like i said going into storage what are those uh, uh wallets that they're talking Hard, about right hardware wallets you could get ones one's called a treasure one's called a ledger nano s or you could do the old school fashioned way you can make a, a paper wallet where you can make your own program on your laptop and your key you make your own key codes and you just print out on a piece of paper put the paper in a vault is it that Same easy thing. though it's very easy. Oh, okay no because when people say programming well, because i tried to do a, okay you too cheap free but just you know I prefer a different way because, I mean, you lose the paper, it gets shredded. Or yada, yada, yada. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm tying into a um, uh, 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 Bitcoin and encryption stuff. You guys are, are you guys. Um... Oh, March, April time frame, real quick. Be excited for cryptos. Oh, Super yeah. Excited. That's the same that, time that, that all that bad news in the, the porn joke. comes out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like the same time, the same, the same time, time that your fucking jaw the, drops. It is exciting, though, isn't it? Because. And, and around that time frame, people's money is going to be going up, and people are going to be excited to see the government finally getting some justice and some ass kicking going on there. Some people are going to be like, "Holy shit! It's about time that these fucking fucked up, dirty people that are in our uh, political space, like, oh my god, they were actually two faced. Like, I had no idea. Like, good job. The truth is coming, then, right? What's your name again? People are going to be shocked. Bluff Bluff it. Liar pants. Guys, he's lying. And this should be applause right now. <laughs> this is shocking information. You, you. I guess I'm so. So that's the uh, crowd here. So that's a prediction. Is March, April, shit's going March, crazy. April for Bitcoins is going to start seeing the up the uprise. Yep. And then uh, at the same time for March, April, obviously for politics and just social awarenesses of how fucked up you think important people are. That now with that, do you think anything will jump. change? Not not the Bitcoin with the okay. You find out Donald Trump fucks little kids it's on the side. It's going to be like that I... when people realize Hillary didn't win. They're going to go ballistic. They're not going to know how to fucking cope with the no, world. But, 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 no, but here's but the thing. on another level, not talking about left or Democrat, just in general, like, not, like they're going to be like, holy shit. No, but you yep. really exist. Holy shit. There's people. No, in but the, let me ask on. you this. Though. There's, there's people in the, con in, in, in the Congress that worship Satan. Yep. But here's the thing, and though. It's real. It's not all just talk. Alex Jones is right. Mr. Will. <laughs> go ahead. 
this is nothing new though. All these stories, like talk about like when you say, you say like, well, Hillary Clinton didn't win. Well, I think like right now you might be the only person that still thinks that maybe she didn't. Like, no, Clinton didn't win. So yeah, like, what? Win. So what other news? You talk about this big pedophilia. Like, well, we can go back 10, 20 years. Like, um, if anyone remembers, um, Boys Town. You know what I'm saying? Do you guys oh, remember yeah. the Boys Town story? That's crazy. You know, again, a lot of stuff with is... Russia. Uh, really, it's the Democrats that have been fucking with Russia more than uh, Trump. You don't all think that it's up? Everything's in, uh, honestly just. All I'm gonna tell you is this: I don't have all the answers. This is I heard it through the grapevine, and uh, boom, 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 boom. Keep going. And, uh, boom, 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 boom. Trump boom, is boom, gonna boom. take him down. He's gonna send him to Guantanamo. <laughs> but now, but this, this, but this is my question: is just how with the you know Hillary didn't win? You say people go crazy. Do you think anything will actually change? what i'm saying yeah there's gonna be just a mixture of people finally like a baby having to take its medicine even though they don't fucking like it they're gonna have to fucking swallow it no no i understand that people might realize that it's happening but yeah. do you think anything will actually change only thing that i think that will change is gonna be it's gonna be difficult i what i think will change is people it's gonna be a lot more uh very disruptive because like I think it's gonna be a lot of people they're gonna be delusional like they're like oh my god is this really going on mm. they're just not gonna know how to cope that's what the analytics say on this predictive linguistics supercomputer by Cliff High that's wild and that'll be something to look forward to but listen we're a month in this is a beautiful thing we got four episodes down we Boom. hit our hour Bam. and uh, man I'm enjoying it. I say that we we uh, you know. Keep shitting on these bitches' dicks. I don't even know what that means. Subscribe, Listen. leave like, a comment, share. You know, say what's this. up. Peace, every, Chicky Blicky. Every Sunday, release on a Monday. Yeah, that's the thing. Uh, click down below for all the links. For uh, we got Uber driving links. We got Bitcoin links. We got all that other stuff. Uh, individual Twitters and follow on our Twitter. You know, Three Piece Biscuit, all that stuff. Uh, we got a Facebook group. All the links will be down below. And in the future, we got to start doing that at the beginning of the episode, not the end. Mm. But yeah. Bars, yes. Until next week. We, we appreciate you all. We out.